Joining me is Chang Lei's partner, Nick uh, Kogi. Um, Nick Coyle, sorry. Nick, um, here we go again. I had you on last time, Nick. Uh, Cheng Lei's father actually lives in Perth, but his own premier there will not speak up for his daughter. I mean, have you asked Mark McGowan for help? Andrew, I, I've reached out to his office and unfortunately I've got absolutely nothing in return. So um, oh. I, I, I made the attempt to uh, reach out to him and, and I, I just find the whole situation, frankly, bizarre. Um, it, 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 it defies explanation as far as I'm concerned. Nick, you must feel you're living in a Kafka novel, that you don't actually exist. You're picking up the phone, <laughs> you, you're, you're ringing, you're ringing uh, Daniel Andrews, uh, the door, Cheng Lei's daughters live in Melbourne, so you think it's got something. No response. You ring up Mark McGowan, one of his constituents is Cheng Lei's father. Again, no response. I mean, how, how does this compute? Look, Andrew, it, it, it doesn't, is the short answer. Um, I mean, I've made this point a number of times that I don't think any government in Australia, federal or state, can expect the people to come along with them um, on the journey of full normalisation of relations with China without this situation, this incredibly unjust uh, situation persisting. Now, I've never asked a Premier to go over there and solve the problem. I've never asked a Premier to go and, um, you know, create foreign policy for Australia. So when McGowan and Andrews have said, hey, it's a foreign policy issue, nothing to do with me, I think it's a cop out. Um, all I've asked is, and all, had they engaged with me, we could have had this conversation in more detail, but all I've asked is to point out the bleeding obvious, that she's been detained for just under a thousand days. She can't talk to her kids. She can't talk to her parents. She's held in extremely difficult uh, circumstances. They're frankly appalling. And, um, and this does enormous damage to the bilateral relationship at a time where they're trying to repair it. How do you repair it with the current situation persisting? You can't. I don't get what they're so scared of because, you know, China sent over its, uh, I think it was deputy um, foreign minister who used to be an ambassador here. Business leaders who are pro-China and got skin in the game, they were asking him about Chang Lee, right? Um yeah. But somehow the premiers don't dare and you just wonder what what is it? Are they are they scared of losing cash from China? It's like it's like sending out uh, you know envoys to Nazi Germany and just telling them, by the way, before you go, don't mention the Jews. You know, what is this? It it, it it's just as I said, it defies belief. I mean, you're a hundred percent right. Um when Vice Minister Ma was out. Um, a, a number of members from, you know, really senior level members of the Australian business community, Warwick Smith and our former ambassador over there, uh, Jeff Raby and others, um, at, a, at a dinner hosted by ACBC, pointed out exactly what I'm pointing out. And that is that her ongoing detention is unacceptable. Her ongoing detention causes significant damage in the bilateral relationship. And if you want the bilateral relationship to improve, it's got to be resolved. And that's all the message I would ask the premiers um, to to give in the context of their trip with China. I've never asked them to go and solve the problem. I've asked them to express how big a problem it is and that, you know, she's dealing with enormously difficult circumstances and so are her children. And, and Australians just don't accept it. We don't accept it. We want it back. And if relations are going to improve, it's got to happen. Well, any Australian watching should know that if you ever go to China, you're arrested on trumped-up charges. Uh, don't expect your Labor Premier to uh, help, lift a finger to help you because, you know, money, trade or whatever. I don't know what it is. Or voters. Uh, don't want to upset uh, local you know, Chinese ethnic uh, voters here. I don't get it. Anyway. Uh, Nick I don't Coyle, know if I find it strange uh, to do. Sorry, Sorry Andrew, I was just going to say that the, the Penny Wong and Anthony Albanese have been really proactive and... and they have. Uh, you know, I, I give I give praise where it's due, and it's due there, and criticism where it's due with McGowan and Andrews, unfortunately. 